Hey folks, uh, today's lesson we're going to learn how to combine like terms. Okay, before we can solve any equations, we need to combine all terms that are alike. Okay? So, we're going to do we're going to go over three problems. And here's the first, here's the first step. This reads 2x plus 5 plus 4x plus 2, okay? So this is an equation. It's not an equation because there's no equal sign. It's simply a statement, okay? So we can see right now we have four terms, okay? These right here with the x's, these are called the variables, okay? Attached with its coefficient, which is 2, okay? So we have an x, 2x, and a 4x. Now that's like simply saying two oranges and four oranges, okay? What we want to do is simply add them together because they're attached by positive numbers, all right? So what we simply do is we do that. We combine that. 2x plus 4x is simply 6x, okay? Now what we have is these. We have five units here and two units of something. These are called constants. They are like terms because they are simply constant numbers with no variables attached to them. So we can then simply combine them. And we'll do that. 5 plus 2 is simply a plus 7. Okay? So we're left with this statement. Okay? This is a, bin a binomial. Okay? It is simply 6x plus 7. That's step one. Now let's move over here to, to um, example number two. Alright, here's example number two. Uh, this one has two variables, as you'll see. We'll have it, an x here, and we'll have y's there, okay? What we're going to simply do is simplify this, and to do that, you have to combine all the like terms. Everything that is alike, combine them. Put them together, and make them one unit, okay? So we're going to simply do that now. So what they like to do, they always like to have your x's be the first term, your y's be the second term, and your constants be the third term. So we have an x here. We look to see if there's any other x's. We notice there's no other x's. So we simply just bring that down here. We say that's 5x. Now we look for the y's because we always do the y second. We see we have a 2y here, and then we see a minus y. So that simply means you do um, a, you do um, subtraction. So 2y minus a y is simply a y. So we put plus y. All right? Next we do constants, because constants are the third term. And we simply add this 5 here and this 3, giving you a 9. So this is our new statement. Very simplified, which reads 5x plus y plus 9. All right, let's go to example number three. So in example number three, we have distributing we need to be done. We can't simply combine these yet because we haven't distributed. If you see, we have a two next to the statement x plus three. This simply means two times x plus three. All right? So what we have to do is distribute this two using what's called the distributing, pro the distributing property. Okay, so we simply do this. We multiply 2 times x 
and we multiply 2 times 3. So 2x, 2 times x is simply 2, simply 2x. Two, 2 times a plus 3 is simply, or 2 times a plus 3 is simply a 6. All right, so we took care of that. Now the next step is to take care of this. So we do the same thing. We have to distribute that 3. 3 times x is 3x. Distribute that 1. 3 times 1 is simply 3. So let's put, let's do it. 3 times x, 3x. All right, because that's what, that really simply means 3 times x. Okay, now let's do the next one. 3 times 1 is simply 3. Okay, so now we can combine all these like terms. Now again, this simply means, this is a term, these are all terms, that's a term, that's a term, that's a term. Okay, the, this term is very much like this term because it contains an x. These terms here are constants. They're very similar because they are numbers. They can be combined into one unit. So we simply do this. You add these things, right? Gives you 5x. Boom, goes the dynamite. There we got it. Then we combine this. Plus 9. Okay? So that is our statement. It's not an equation. Because it doesn't have an equal sign. It's simply a statement that says 5x plus 9. Okay? So those are three examples that I believe will get you through the first part of algebra. Okay? You always use these same fundamental tools no matter if they're in fractions or in decimals. You still do the same process. All right? Uh, I think I want to do one with fractions, actually. Let me do one more with a fraction. And what I'll do is simply just make one up. Because you're going to get these sometimes that contain fractions. I'm going to do an easy one here. A simple... Okay, so what we're going to do here is one that has fractions in it. Okay. Now here's one that's, that is a, is a fraction. So simply what you want to do, in this case, you just want to combine it. As you see, there are two terms. One says a negative half b and one is a plus b. All right, let's say plus two. You simply just want to add the b's together, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. What this really reads is a b minus half a b. Okay, so we simply do that. We're gonna go b minus half a b okay which really is you're gonna get back half a b and then you're gonna simply there's no other constants there's just this one constant so let's simply add that and that's your statement you got a half a b plus two so those are four Good examples that should really get you through the first part of algebra. Okay? So I hope this video has helped you. And I will make another one that's going to just read just like a math book. After this subject here, there's going to be the next chapter. So this should help you get into the next chapter. All right, guys, thanks very much. Let me know how this video has worked for you. If you want, like it, 
and if you have any helpful um, hints for me or helpful um, positive feedback let me know uh, thank you very much guys all right bye